All right, so this is our task list for our Ubuntu client system. Uh, it's three things that you need to accomplish in this portion of the lab. First, we're going to create a local user account as we did in um, Windows 10. Uh, then we're going to install a tool called GNOME System Tools. Now, the reason we're going to install this is because uh, in older versions of, of Ubuntu, there was a GUI management tool for uh, managing groups. There, there still exists one natively in the newer version of Ubuntu for, for um, the local user accounts, but they took away the group management aspect of it. So we're going to install a, the, basically the older version of the management tool, which allows you to manage groups as well. Um, from a local perspective. Otherwise, you have to do them from the command line. We're not ready to introduce scripting yet in command line, so we're we're going to install a tool for GUI. I mean, we do have to use one one line of code in order to make it happen, but I think you guys will be able to get through that. <laughs> uh, and then the last step is going to be to make that new u local user account that we've created a member of a group that we're going to make called Power Player. And then we're going to add that again. We're going to add that user into that group. All right. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is launch my Ubuntu client VM and log and log in. Make sure I get my password right. I'm in. So now I see my Ubuntu desktop. In order to get to the client. Uh, management tool. Oh, we're going to go up to the upper right corner of the screen and you'll see a little drop down arrow. Click on that and then there's a settings gear. Click the settings gear and mine is already on, is already kind of uh, pointed to the users tool but if you don't see that, if you scroll down the, the left side of that settings box, you'll find the option for users. Click on that and it'll bring you to a screen. It'll show the account that was created during the installation. So um, uh, Ubuntu, remember, is a little bit different than Windows during the install. Uh, during the Windows installation, it didn't necessarily make you create a named user account, especially with the server. It lets you just use the, the built-in admin. But uh, with Ubuntu, it had you create a named user, user account, and it made that user account root. So this is technically your root account. Um, we're going to create another account uh, by first unlocking this feature. They've got some security in mind. They don't want you, just any random person going to your desktop and being able to adjust things. So in order to, to make any administrative changes uh, to user accounts, you got to first unlock it. And that's going to require your password again. So I'm going to put that in again. And now that that's unlocked, you see that now I can actually modify this account or I can hit add user, that add user button at the top. So I click add user. It wants the user's first name. I'm going to call this user test user. For you guys, I want you to do your first initial last name. I already have that set up, so I, I can't use that right now. So I'll do test user. And this will be two, test user two. And that's going to be its username as well. Um, <clears throat> here at the top, I have the account type right now. I set the standard. I want this to be an administrator account. So I'm going to, uh, click administrator there. And then I'll say, allow user to set password, uh, when, uh, when they next log in, this will be the feature, uh, that I would leave set. If I, again, similar to windows 10, if I want that user to be the only one who knows their password. Um, this would effectively make the password that I'm about to give it right now a temporary password. And then when the person logs into the system for the first time, it will force them to change it to something that they only know. And we're not really concerned about that right now. So I'm going to say set password now, and then I'll give it its super secret password, and then I'll confirm it. Once all that's done, then I can hit the add button. And now that account is created. I can manage that account from this uh, from this screen as well. And you see now my two accounts exist on the system. 
And if I ever want to get rid of that account, I can just select it and say remove user. All right, so that is my new account. Now, the next task that we had, so we got the account set up, and we got a, um, the local account set up. Now, the next thing we need to do is install the GNOME system tools. In order to do that, we're going to have to um, install an app, the, the GNOME app on the, on the system, and we can do that from the command line. Uh, the command line in Linux is called the terminal. So to get there, I'm going to go to this little uh, show applications, the series of dots in the lower uh, left, lower left corner of the screen. And I'm going to click on that. and It's going to show me a bunch of um, programs that are installed by default in Linux. I'm going to go to the search bar at the type, top and I'm going to start typing terminal. Terminal is what uh, in Linux and in and actually in Max mac os 2 what they call the command line i click the terminal and i get this nice little box with a blinking cursor is ready for me to issue commands now in order to do this from the uh, command line i'm going to issue a command called sudo sudo means it's short for super user do remember that from the lesson and that's our way of issuing these root level commands, like the kind of commands we need to install software. Then I'm going to use a command called apt-get. So apt-get is how we access our uh, our Ubuntu um, uh, software repository. So apt-get, and then I'm going to issue a command that says install. And then finally, I'm going to tell it what to install. The, the name of the software application is GNOME. Okay, G N O M E dash system to uh, system dash tools. All right, and I'll execute that. Another way to get software, though, from a kind of GUI perspective, is to go to the Ubuntu software um, uh, application, similar to what you would see like on a a mobile device where it has an application store. So right now it's loading the catalog for that. And once it loads, you're gonna see like, uh, it's gonna give you the ability to download tons of different types of applications that have been developed for uh, this Linux platform. So right now, I want to do a search. So I'm going to hit the little magnifying glass right there. I'm going to search for the um, GNOME system tools. Let me make sure I'm clicked in there. GNOME system tools. Let's see if it finds it. Oh, and that that's it. So I can download it this way as well. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to run app get. Since I'm running a sudo command and wants that admin password again. Or the root password. Notice that if you don't see anything on the screen. Well, you're not going to see anything on a screen with uh, Linux passwords. That's just how, that's just the way it does it. But I know it was successful because look, it's, it, it can, it's performing a download, it's asking me do I wanna continue. Um, there are some dependencies, some other, other, looks like some other pieces of software that need to get installed in order to let GNOME work the way it's supposed to. So it's just letting me know about those and let me know how much space it's gonna take and other things like that. I wanted to do its thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell it why for yes and let it continue.
All right, so that finished. So now, within our uh, that administ that uh, user uh, account creation too, we should have some options for managing groups as well. All right, so let's take a look. We're gonna go back up to the little drop down menu here in the upper right corner. We're gonna go back to settings, and nothing's changed here on the settings tab. But let's 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 go up. Let's look at um. Let's look at some applications because under users it's still the same. Let's go to our applications here because we did download it as a software app. So we look through applications and there it is, users and groups. Click on that. I'll double click on it. All right, so clicking on it didn't help here. So what we're probably going to have to do is launch this from the application tool. So I'm going to close that out and go back to our show applications section here. And then in the search bar, I'm going to start typing users. And there it is, users and groups. Now I click on that, and now it opens up the application. And it's showing me the two different... Um, the two different uh, user accounts that I created. And if, now I have a button to manage groups. So these are the built-in system groups. So just like in Windows, we have these uh, system groups that are already pre-made that we can then add um, our accounts to. But we're gonna, we need want to make a new group. So I'm going to add. And of course, it wants some security. It wants that root password. So I do that, and then I'm going to create a group. I'm going to give it a group name. We say we're going to call this one Power Player. We're going to do it with no spaces. And that group ID is fine. And then right here, I have the option of adding that test user account, or in your case, the user account that you created, adding it to this group. And I hit OK. Oh, it doesn't like the capital P, the capital P's. So let's make it all lowercase there we go uh, Linux is very case sensitive and there's my power player group you can close that now and when I look at my uh, my test user account I can see that it's still it that that setting took so it's in the power players group. All right. Uh, you see that there are some advanced settings too that I can manage with the with the use of this new application. So now I get some more granular options. All this stuff was still available um, uh, in in Ubuntu to begin with. It was just you just had to do it from the command line. There was no tool that enabled that that to happen. By using app get, I was able to download a tool that gave me control over these features just to make life a little bit easier. All right. So once you complete those three, in order to get your credit for this, you're going to give me a screenshot of the local user account that you created, a screenshot of the completed um, install page or the output rather from your your sudo app git install gnome system tools um, command so it look something like this I should be able to see some keywords like gnome menus and things like that and then lastly uh, that power players uh, power player group so if you go back into the users and groups tool and show me your managed groups list. With power player, with power player in that, um, I'm passing it. <laughs> yeah, with power player in that list, 
then you're good to go. Put all those into a Word doc. And uh, as a matter of fact, if you want one consolidated Word doc that has all of your lab parts in it, that's fine. Uh, but those um, screenshots are going to be necessary to get credit.